hello guys welcome to my channel today i will talk about wave view in with kv and kvmd so if you are if you are new in my channel just hit the subscribe button like share my videos so let's start so you have to download this code by clicking this download code download zip okay uh, i will put the link in the description so don't worry just click and download okay you have to you need this webview.py and main.py file okay and okay so just see this this main.py and webview.py okay so <coughs> i am opening webview. first of all webview.py so this is the main Uh, web view widget uh, for kv or kvmd okay so they use they use kv model view widget and paste android web view on the model web view okay and they built web view widget so for that here uh, they used sorry <coughs> so they used uh, like uh, pygenus library and uh, so you can uh, connect android java android class with python okay so it will only work on android device so that's it so you can you can read the code from here okay so it is okay so this is you don't uh, okay one second so you have to use this this uh, widget this o o view widget okay so this is now let's open main.py with sublime text and this is main.py this is application so uh, from web view i am calling this web view widget web view.py i am calling this web view widget which is uh, which is uh, web view for android using kv and kvmd kv or kvmd you can use kv or with kvmd okay so that's it uh, and uh, one second so uh, they just build they just added three buttons in box layout this is the build method in kv app and they added three buttons so first they created local file and uh, they just set browser a variable and browser equal to known okay and they added three buttons so like one button this this first button will open google so and second button will open will open local file and third button uh, will show the downloads list of downloads so and uh, <coughs> here they they used you level also so don't worry about that and you can only used sorry you can only use this web view um so see here this web view underscore google method and uh, it will open this it will open this link within web view widget so it will open this google.com okay and uh, so this button will call this method and uh, this means that it will open this model view of kv if you don't know what is model view you can search in kv kv model model view like pop up like things so you can read what is model view so you can read here okay so it is not so difficult thing and uh, and uh, 
they connect android back button so you can uh, remove model view also or close model view so by this way you can open and uh, close browser okay so and second thing is here uh, button 2 will open local file so this lo what is this so it will open a local file means in this first line they created local files so this local file is simple html file they just created that to test uh, like uh, oi view is uh, loading html file or not so that's why they just created and tested and uh, so that's it uh, you can load local html file also and so so for oh, and and this view downloads will check uh, list of downloads so that's it and uh, so for uh, mini browser so if you want to mu mini browser or web view just use this web view widget and put the link here and enable javascript equal to true enable downloads equal, downloads equal to true and enable zoom equal to true for more details and further information just read this webview.py and they just defined all these things here okay and i have already said they used java android classes uh, with python by using this pygenus library so we can read all these classes by opening android web view okay android web view like this yes so you have to read this uh, android web view yes here yes see this this classes so this class they used here this is java android cla class okay and uh, so that's that's it and so to convert this file into an apk you have to need bulldozer.spec file so for that you have to create you have to create this file so for that you have to just enter bulldozer in it okay and okay I, I already have created this file that's why it is showing this error okay and uh, just open this bulldozer.spec file with, with any text editor so just add this title and package name package domain name and include all the extension which you are using with uh, this uh, your project so that's it and record means equal to python 3 and key v equal to 2.0.0 and uh, orientation i am just launching this application in all mode means landscape and portrait so you if you want portrait or landscape you can you can set it and full screen you can set full full screen equal to one for full screen and zero means not full screen okay and uh, this android permission you have to just add this permission equal to internet so to use web view you need internet permission okay and android dot api equal to 30 this is 30 means android 11 okay it will run up to android 11 and you can set uh, minimum sdk max minimum sdk android ndk so but i don't want to change these things and uh, just uncomment this line so this is it will uh, it will show lock at related python okay so that's why you, you have to uncomment this line and under architecture equal to arm um, 32 this means 32 bit android okay and if if you want for 64 bit you have to use this this uh, word or this arm 64 v8 for 
x86 CPU, you can use this this x86 and x86 64. So this is for x86 uh, processor or Intel processor, and and that's it. And so um, and um, okay, and that's all. So just follow this instruction. After that, just open terminal here. Okay, one second here and read all these things. Yes. So that's it and open this folder. This is my project folder and open terminal here and just enter this command one second yes just enter build user dash b android deploy uh, android debug deploy run locket so this will <coughs> push the apk uh, into your phone and it will show all logs okay and before that just connect your phone with computer via usb cable <coughs> and just enter so it will download all the files and uh, after a few minutes uh, you have to wait up um, till okay so uh, it is now it is running and just wait till the end and so it will take 30 or 40 minutes for first time i have already uh, did this so i am just stopping this so now uh, and after all these things you can collect your apk from this bin directory okay and uh, bin directory also so uh, as you are using this uh, bulldozer android debug deploy run locket so it will push the apk into your phone or otherwise you can collect this uh, apk from this bin directory okay and uh, one thing is so uh, now i will show a small demonstration uh, so how it is working in my phone so just I'm using small program C or CPUY. So this will this program will mirror my phone. So now now it is mirroring. So that's it, and this is the web view application. So I'm just opening this. So this is the application and tap for Google back button uh, slash gesture to return. Okay, and so let's click on this button. So it it will open model view and after that it will open uh, Google because I have entered this link so i can put any link okay here or any link of website you have to put here and so you can search anything means kivi so this is kivi so uh, this is a small browser so just do it to will opening so this is kiwi okay and uh, you have to just you can zoom and you can scroll these things so and you can back by clicking the back button so that's it and so it acts like a web browser okay so that's it and and you can load local html file 
so see this yes greeting yes thing this is the html file so they just written or they just save in local as a local file and here it is loading so this is simple html file okay because this view local file it will load this local file okay and if you can back and you can click list of download you are showing it is showing no file downloaded so that's it you can create web view for android okay so so that's it it is very um, inter interesting widget and very useful widget okay so that's it and like share my videos subscribe my channel please do support me so so that's all for today i will see you in next video okay